job. Similar to humans, flowers have reproductive parts. Did you know most flowers have both male and female parts? The female part is called the pistil, Hi. and the male part is called the stamen. Whoa. Pollen, a fine powder, is found in the male part and is important for the reproduction of flowers. Some people sneeze a lot during <laughs> springtime because they're allergic to pollen. So, but not the stamen. I thought plants have both female and male parts. In most plants, flowers contain both female and male parts. These flowers are classified as perfect flowers. Examples of perfect flowers include lilies, roses, dandelions, orchids, and many more. However, some plants have evolved to produce flowers with only male parts or only female parts. These flowers are classified as imperfect flowers. Really, Shafin? What are the examples of imperfect flowers? Imperfect flowers include cucumbers, gourds, and melons. Chipsters, can you see the difference between the male and the female cucumber flowers? Let me tell you a fun fact. Only female flowers can produce fruits. For flowers to reproduce, pollen must be transferred from the male part to the female part. This process is called pollination. Insects and animals that play an important role in pollination are called the pollinators. Oh, I see. Then bees must be pollinators, right? Hey, little bee, how are you doing? Hi, Echo. I'm Mr. Honeybee, one of the most important pollinators in our ecosystem. I visit flowers collecting nectar to make yummy honey. During this process, pollen gets attached to my hairy body and legs. Interesting! What happens to the pollen that sticks to the bee? Good question, Echo. As flowers only have a limited amount of nectar, bees need to jump between many flowers to get enough food. While doing so, pollen is transferred from the bee's body to the top of the flower's female part. If the pollen of a flower arrives at its own female part, it's called self-pollination. If the pollen of one flower is transferred to the female part of another flower, it's called cross-pollination. Chipsters, which flower can perform self-pollination? Perfect? or imperfect flowers. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.